Hey guys, welcome back for another weekly grind video for Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. This is the video where we go over all the news and events for Dokkan Battle on both the Global and JP. So without further ado, let's get into it because we have a lot to go over. This is probably going to be about a 20 minute video. First one is Dragon Ball Super Universe Survival Saga. Now I just went over this. If you want a full in-depth review, go ahead and check it out. I will say stage 3 you want to grind out because you get those Gokus. I would definitely recommend getting him up to Super Attack 10. He will Dokkan Awaken into Ultra Instant Goku. I also recommend if you haven't already done so or if you haven't pulled the Ultra Instant Goku and you have room in your box to get 9 more of them and get them all ready for Dokkan Awakening into Ultra Instant Goku because they do feed into the Intelligence one if you happen to pull him. Stage 4 is going to be for the Kachin medals. Uh, that's what you use in the Baba Shop in order to make some purchases. So if you're looking to get some uh, cool stuff from the Baba Shop, go ahead, check it out. See what you have available and see how much of this you have to grind. Uh, pretty easy stage, pretty straightforward. There's only 4 of them as of right now. There will be others that come out in the future. They do have other uh, characters that drop. Uh, the one I'm waiting for is that Angel Frieza because I do have the special from the Other World Tournament um, with the Angel Frieza that came out. So I'm waiting for that to drop so I can get up to Super Attack 10. Pretty awesome unit. Um, but outside of that, nothing else to say here. Make sure you grind out all four of them for at least the Dragon Stones. And I recommend grinding out stages 3 and 4 for those Gokus and Kachin Medals. Uh, this runs until 3.18, so you have another month for this to run. Uh, Super Battle Road. Now, I thought that this was open daily. I always thought this was open. Apparently, it is not open all the time. Um, this ends, it looks like, today. Um, it's going to be back. If it, if it ends, it ends. Like, it's going to always come back. Now, I didn't grind it out myself. I wasn't able to beat it, but I also didn't try too hard. I tried, like, on Saturday. I tried a couple times. I wasn't able to beat it. Um, I even tried with my um, mono physical team for um, with the, the, the Majin Buu, our category team. I was unable to get through it. So any of you who have already done it, good for you. I'm glad on you. Don't worry if it goes away because it will come back. It's never going to be away permanently. Um, don't know when it's going to come back, though, if it does go away. But it does say it ends today. So if you haven't grinded that out, go ahead and grind it out. It runs until 10 o'clock p.m. Uh, Pacific time. So you have some time for the rest of today to get that. Next one is the new stage, Supreme Fusion Blazing Patara. That runs daily until 3.01. Then it's available every agility day, <clears throat> every physical day, and every hero day on the weekend. So three times a week it'll be available. So don't worry about that. But it runs for another about week, week and a half. Uh, stage 1, just remember, does drop the base form Vegeta, Vegito um, cards. So you increase any of the base form Vegitos. I would personally recommend doing the physical, I mean, the, the technique one first. Just because he's the most viable, he's mostly used because of his passive skill. Outside of that, that's about it. Good luck on that event. Hopefully you guys can grind that out without an issue. Uh, now moving into this one, this is Go Forth Hero of Justice. This runs until the 1st as well. Uh, that is another, yeah, it's about a week, a week and a day. Uh, for this event to run through now this uh, was reset so go ahead and grind out all the dragon stones you have six stages here at this point in the game there's no reason for you to need anything from this event from any of the drops balma medals drop from all of them gohan medals drop from stage three yamu and his brother spopovich medals drop on stage five and you have hercule chi chi and boo medals all of them drop on stage six so go ahead and grind them out if you're looking to do your doken awakenings for any of the great say amen if you like them Outside of that, just get the Dragon Stones, in my opinion, because I don't think any of these guys are worth it. Um, I think one of these Great Salmon uh, re reduce the uh, enemy's attack, not the passive. Or no, I'm sorry, the passive does do that. So, like, this Videl will reduce agility and intelligence type enemies. Attack minus 25%. That's kind of useful if you're doing for a damage reduction team. And uh, that's really about it. I think that there was, I think one of the Great Salmon did a re greatly reduce his damage, but I think that was the one with the helmet. So this should, these two shouldn't matter. But outside of that, guys, I wouldn't recommend it. Just go get the Dragon Stones, in my opinion. Next one is going to be another one that ends today. Super Warrior Slam. Victory will be mine. This is the Bio Broly event. Um, Krillins have, are dropped here. Apparently, they have a really garbage rate. I have not tried to grind them out. Bio Broly does have a decent drop rate. I only know because I was able to grind it out the first time the event came around. And I'm t I typically don't grind out the way I used to. Um, so if he didn't drop very often, I probably wouldn't have got him up to Super Attack 10. So I guess he has a decent drop rate. Uh, you can Doken Awaken him. He's a really good defender when facing only one enemy. And he's going to be, I guess he's going to be pretty decent on the Revival team when you're going up against the Super Saiyan 3 Angel or the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. To Extreme is the Awaken him. You also have the medals for this Android 18. She's really useless in my opinion. Now that that 17 came out, you'll see my video that comes out tomorrow going over the banner. She finally has a linking buddy for her super team. 
um, but that's about it. The two that I really that I really like from this event are going to be the Goten and Trunks because they finally get their Doken Awakenings and they're really viable. This Trunks is really good on his team. Plus, he's really good for a Majin Buu R category team because he is from that category. He is a physical unit and he has attack plus 100% when performing a super attack. And his super attack is semi-farmable with SRs that drop. So he is really good in my opinion. The, the, the Gotens are also, but Trunks is more viable in my opinion. Um, go ahead, grind all these out for Dragon Stones. The Go Trunks and Goten medals are on stage two, so definitely do that. I don't really think you need to waste your time uh, grinding out those Android medals, Android 18 medals, but you can if you want to. Uh, Krillin's are on stage four. You can get that Bob, uh, the the Baba Shop Krillin up to Super Attack 10 with him. Again, apparently his drop rate sucks, so if you really like Krillin, go for it. If not, it might not be worth your time. And that's about it. Bio Broly is on the last stage. If you really want to get him up to Super Attack 10, all four dupes unlocked, then Doken Awaken him. At some point, he might be useful. <laughs> Again, that ends today, so go ahead and grind that out if you want to. It will come back at some point. Don't know when. Uh, now, we're moving over to the summons. So, on the global side, summons. This runs for another week. Uh, assemble representatives of the universes. Now, I did a full review on this last night, but you guys won't see it till tomorrow because that's when it's going to come. I'm trying to do one video a day, guys. I can't. I don't have enough time in the day to do two videos a day anymore. So this will be coming out tomorrow if you want, if you're interested. I'll give you the first, the, the quick synopsis of it. This banner has a lot of really good units. The problem with them is none of them have really good linking buddies. Um, that's the biggest issue for me with this banner is all these guys are really awesome units. Uh, specifically, I like the Boo and I like uh, I, I like 17 and Boo the most. Uh, and Topo is a really good support unit. He's a really good support unit actually. Um, super type allies attack and defense plus 30% and extreme type enemies defense minus 50%. He is an awesome support unit. So you should definitely try and get him if you're going for it. Um, I don't think you should pull it on this banner. I, you know, honestly, anything that's non Doken Fest exclusive, I really don't, I'm not going to say you should pull on it unless it's guaranteed SSR. And I didn't see anything here about this being a guaranteed SSR. Um, regardless, all the LRs are on this banner, so if you're looking for maybe getting luck with one of the LRs, every single one of them are there. Are on there. That's LR Gohan, that's LR Trunks, Majin Vegeta, uh, Merge, uh, Goku Black, and Zamasu. So you have all of them on here. This is a decent banner. Um, I, I think this has a lot of good A-tier units for you. It's nothing that you're going to run primarily on a team like an S-tier unit, but they do have good units. So if you're, if you're looking to pull on this, good luck. I hope you get what you want. This runs until the 1st, so again, you have one week to pull on it if you plan on doing so. The other one is we have the Majin Buu Saga Category Summons. Now, I did do the summons on this, the three discounted ones, and I guarantee, I'm pretty sure this gave you a guaranteed SSR. Um, it runs until the 1st as well, so you can go ahead and uh, pull on that if you would like to. This Buu is actually really good. I really like that. That's really the only reason I pulled on it, because I really wanted this Buu. Super type enemies, defense minus 30%, and he gives him a self at attack plus 80%. The reason why I pulled on it is because that is really good for his passive skill, but on top of that, he is a boo, and there are a lot of physical boos um, that you could run on a team, so having him on that team will definitely help you out. Plus, if you're going up against the Gotenks event, you do a mono extreme physical team, he's going to come in really handy for you, because he is a boo super, and his super attack's farmable. That's another reason. <laughs> Everything else, there are a lot of good things on here that Goten and Trunks that I was talking about are on there, so you can go ahead and grind that out. Um, or, or summon for it if you would like to. I, I think it was, for me, it was kind of worth it because I wanted him. I mean, it was also discounted stones. I'm always a sucker for discount summons when they're guaranteed SSRs. That runs until the first, so if you want to pull on a go for it outside of that, you might not want to do it if you have all the units already. And most of these units are subpar anyway. They're only, like, unique situations. Um, the next one is going to be the, the other Doken Fest exclusive that runs for another week as well. Same time, 3-1. This is for the Super Vegito. This has really good units on it. Um, this has the, the Vegito with the Majin Buu Saga category unit. Uh, he is really good, or the leader ability. He's a really good unit. I like him. I've been running him. He, You could actually make a full, really good mono physical team with him. So, and you have a better leader ability with that. HP, defense plus 140%, attack plus 100%. So, the attack will suffer a little bit, but you get an additional 20% HP and defense. So, you'll be tanking a little bit better with that Majin Buu Saga category when you can do a mono physical team with it if you want to. If not, you do have the 120 lead here, and that 120 lead will give you the 120 for all HP, attack, and defense. It's up to you. I really don't know how, you know, it, it's, it's, it's difficult because you're taking a 20% attack debuff, which you know that does come into play when you're trying to do damage, but that HP and defense is going to make you a lot more tankier, and physical units are meant to tank a little bit better. Um, anyway, he is a good unit. This is a good banner. I really think this is a good banner. You have you have the, these two link very well together. These two link very well together. These two are going to be staples on the mono physical team and on the Majin Buu category team. And this one's just good to have if you don't have the physical one, or if you want a mono physical or mono technique team. 
Um, so these are all really, really good units, and I think this banner is kind of worth it if you want to try and pull on it. If you're not really a fan on building anything like this, or you already have the mono physical team, or you don't like the extreme leaders, then you know don't don't do it. You don't need to hold off on it. But I think this is a good banner, so I did do some summons on it, as you guys saw because I did release that video. It runs until the first, so go ahead and pull on that if you want to. Next one is the physical character exclusive summons. This ends today. Um, you can do this if you want to. I'm not going to. This has the mono physical LR. Uh, that's the trunks, and I like that trunks. I would like him, but I'm not going to summon on it for him. You get two other Kai's per summon, and you have the two support units, the Go, uh, the Gohan, and the Boo, that are really good support units for their mono respective teams. Outside of that, Sin Shenron's really awesome because he's he links very well with the Omega Shenron, the physical one. Um, and he also links with the, the obviously the uh, strength one and the agility or yeah the agility one if you want to run them on one team. But honestly, you're really only going to run a mono extreme team with a physical Omega if you have him. Plus, he just does really well with a mono extreme physical team anyway. And this Trunks is really good for support. These guys kind of stink. Um, outside of that, I really don't think this banner is worth it. I wouldn't recommend pulling on it. Um, I guess, I don't know if this Gohan is on here. Super Saiyan 2 Gohan um, or Great Saiyan Man. No, he's not on there. So, uh, but yeah, I'm sure he's probably in the, like, not the non-featured units. Uh, this, this ends today. I don't recommend doing it unless you need other Kai's, honestly. Um, now we're done with the global side, so let me go ahead and close out of all the global stuff real quick. Um, now we're going to jump onto the JP side, and we are going to be going through everything here. So this is the JP side of Dokkan Battle. We have the new event for the Ginyu Force. Now, this, so now I, I haven't looked at this myself, so maybe guys let me know down in the comments below. I will do a separate video on this. Um, this looks like the Ginyu Force are going to either be part of the potential orb event, or they're getting their own special event that's available daily. Um, it looks like it's going to be always available. You can run it as many times as you want per the wiki. By the way, shout out to the wiki. Shout out to dbz.space because that's where I'm getting all this information from. That's the website I'm using, as you see up in the URL bar above. Um, now, it looks like this is going to be around, around daily. I'm not sure if they're getting their own potential orbs, so that way you can get them all to Super Attack, well, well, Super Attack 10 with all the four view pads unlocked, or if you know it's just meant for the potential orbs I, I don't know if it's their standard orbs or if they're getting their own special ones let me know down in the comments below this runs until every day of the week and all five of them are available on the weekend so they're not going away you can go ahead and grind out all these guys that you need to in order to get them get all their dupe has unlocked and everything or not their dupe has get all their potential system filled in um, and additional uh, potential orbs for them again I, I haven't done my research on this i just know that this is starting and i will do a full video for you guys um, this is the weekly stuff, the special training, Ginyu Force special mission, um, that's available all the time as well. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the same thing, but this one has to do with Captain Ginyu. Um, so I'm not going to go too in-depth on that just because I don't know what I'm talking about yet. I haven't done my uh, my research on it. If you guys have any information on it, let me know in the comments below or link me to something that gives a full detailed explanation. I just did a quick Reddit search and I couldn't find that much information other than the event's going to be available daily for each respective type. So like Jaisa's strength, he'll be available on strength days because he's a he's also a red. <laughs> um, next, we're going to talk about we're moving into the other events that are available. This runs until 3-6. That's the Namek Stars event that is held. So the Namek Saga event, that runs for what another weekend and a half because it runs on the sixth um this is where you get this gohan which he now has an extreme z awakening um i'd recommend going ahead and, and getting doing it while you can it's available for a while uh this is actually this is actually the extreme z awakening of his gohan so i recommend doing it because he's a free-to-play unit and he's awesome um next one is the actual namek saga event this is where you get that gohan i should i should have probably put them in order stage one is where you get the gohan and this is his extreme z awakening um go ahead get all the dragon stones Gohans are available on stage 1, it looks like Gohan medals are on stage 7, and the potential orbs to get him 100% are on stage 8, and then you extreme Z awaken him, so you're gonna, you're gonna, Z, or Doken awaken him to how he looks here, he's a really awesome unit, and then you extreme Z awaken him further to level 150, uh, here. This one uh, runs until the 6th as well, so you have some time to do that if you plan on doing so, I don't because JP side, I don't put that much time into it. Um, this one is the Majin Buu Saga, or the Majin Buu Valentine's thing is here, the candy event, and go ahead and grind that out. This, this, the bar cookie is really good, so, or it's pretty cool, I like it. Um, outside of that, it runs until the 6th, there's really nothing else to be said there, there's only one stage, run it, get the, get the, uh, get the Dragon Stones, get the Deboro cookies, and I believe the Candy Vegito drops from here as well. So, go ahead, good luck if you haven't grinded that out already, it runs until the 6th, you have about a week and a half left. This one is going to be the, the Broly event, runs until 3.11. Um, so you have like two more weeks, like, yeah, I think it's like two more weeks now. Yeah, it's about almost two weeks. Yeah, it's about two weeks uh, for this to run. Shamo, Shamo, Sh Shamo is on stage one. He's a decent unit. He's a decent support item. Um, and outside of that, all the dragon stones up until stage five. You can grind out stage five for Videl's and Trunks. Trunks just Baba shop him. Videl, you can feed into any of the other Videl's. 
Um, or you could just get the SRs because she's semi farmable for summons. You'd get enough of her anyway if you want to feed into the uh, Valentine's Day one because she is a really good debuffing unit. Um, and stage six is going to be all of the Goku, Gohan, and Trunks, Gohan Trunks, Goten, Doken Awaken medals for the Broly event, guys. That's these guys. That's this Go uh, Goku right here, uh, this Gohan, and this Trunks. This is for the OG Broly event when he first came out. These three units were released. So that way they could do additional damage to him. Personally, out of all these, I really like this Gohan out of all three of them because he does an attack plus 90%, which makes him super, super viable. This Goku, not so much. Um, he does when HP, I believe, is HP is 30% or above. Key plus 3, attack plus 5,000. That a 5,000 attack buff kind of sucks. And key plus 3 is cool and all, but like you're going to be running with 6 key starting anyway, so he's probably going to get his super attacks off. Uh, this Goten's cool, uh, sort of. But he, he's a key orb manipulator, so you're going to want him for the world tournament for that LR Broly if you have him. This runs until the 11th, so you have some time for that. Next one is going to be this, uh, this anniversary is still running. It runs until the 6th. Um, I, I haven't watched Rhyme Style's video. I did see a couple, I, I saw a couple people talking about it. I had to go check it out about how he hated the, the anniversary. Uh, personally, I don't know. I, I'm not really big. I, I wasn't a huge fan of it. The LRs were cool and everything, but from what I'm seeing, from when I log in, there's really not a lot going on. But it's running until the 6th. Go ahead and grind this out every single day. I actually haven't done my daily grind on this for a, in a couple days. Um, I have over 100 summon tickets, so I'll be doing that all with you. You have the Perungu wishes, which are still which are available because of this. But this stage, just go ahead, run it through every day, once a day, and you get some medals to go into the Baba Shop and purchase some stuff. I did that with all the actual Super Saiyan Blue Gokus, as I mentioned in all the other uh, anniversaries that came around. Super Saiyan Blue Gokus, and I fed them into the Agility Super Saiyan Blue Goku, not the Kaioken, the other one, to get them up to Super Attack 10. Um, next one is going to be the Battle of Gods event. It runs until the 9th, so it's like almost three weeks, two and a half, three weeks now. Um, get the Beerus medals to Doken Awaken the Intelligence Goku. Uh, Whis medals to Doken Awaken the Tech and the Intelligence Whis. Definitely worth it. Both of them are really good units. This Goku is kind of whack. If you're looking to increase Super Attack of Super Saiyan Goku, you can do it this way if you want to. Um, and the physical Super Saiyan White Hot Face Off Goku does Doken Awaken the Super Saiyan God Goku. You can actually increase the Super Attack of all the God Gokus with this unit if you want to go to that grind. Now, I'm not saying you have to, but if you have one that you like over all the others, I recommend picking that one and getting one to Super Attack 10, because going all of them is going to be a really pain in the butt to grind. Level 1 is Beerus Metals, level 2 is Whis Metals, 3 and 4, as always, is going to be the Pilaf, Shu, and my items. They're really good, really worth it. Um, that's what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is Gohan, Goten and Trunks are 6, uh, Vegeta Metals are 7, Videl Metals are 8, Goku drops on stage 9, and that's about it. The last three stages, you need... Um, they're, they're nothing really good drop there. Uh, peel off is really good because he seals super attacks. That's what I'm gonna say. And my reduces attack. Um, I don't know. I forgot what Shu does. I think he's key. Um, uh, but I'm, I'm not sure off the top of my head. But they're good use support units if you are, if you're looking to use some support items. Uh, sorry, not units. Yeah, items. Uh, runs until the ninth, so you have some time to grind that out. Now we're talking about legend coming down. It looks like we have a legendary banner over here that has the Super Saiyan uh, the Goku Black banner. So I, again, I don't think it's worth summoning on it. My my opinion personally. Um, if you want to summon on it, go right ahead and do so. It looks like it's running until for two, three more days. So go ahead and grind that, uh, summon on that if you'd like to. I'm not going to, but if you have good luck, I hope you pull you what you want. This one is the tech banner, runs for two more days. Um, this has the other guys, as I mentioned before. The two support units, that is the TN and the Piccolo. Uh, everyone else on this banner is kind of whack, in my opinion. Turles is cool. I mean, you know, not Turles. Wow, did I just call him Turles? Wow, I just got shamed. I should be shamed by the entire the Dragon Ball Z community. Bardock is good as a great ape because of his passive skill he's the percentage attack based attack buff i believe uh he's pretty good this boo is cool i guess uh gohan i just think he's whack i hate i hate this future gohan. like future gohan is cool this card is whack but it's cool because you get some potential orbs so if you're looking for some orbs go ahead and summon on that banner you get some elder kai's as well and the two support units if you're running mono uh mono teams is really good for your tech teams Outside of that, that's all I have to say about it. I'm not going to summon on it, but if you're looking for orbs or Elder Kai's, look at this. If it was on the global side, I'd summon on it for those orbs. Uh, runs until the 23rd, so you have two more days to summon on it if you want it. Last but not least, the double Dokun Fest for the LRs are available for the LR Goku and Vegeta and the LR Angel Goku and Vegeta. Um, that runs until the 6th. This has the two units that Dokun Awaken all the way to LR. So if you're looking to summon on that, go ahead and do so. I think they're really good banners. I would have said, if you're going to pull on it now, I would have said you probably should have done it when it first came out when you had the specials going on. I did my summons. I didn't get the ones I wanted. I was, whatever. I didn't expect too much out of it. But this ends on the 6th, so you have about another week and a half before this ends. But anyway, guys, that's it for all of the stuff that's going on on Dokkan Battle. I hope that was informative. I hope you guys have all the luck in the world for everything you're trying to do today. Please let me know if you guys have any other questions or if you have anything else to add in the comments below, and I'll make sure to address it when I can. 
Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. I'll catch you all later. Peace.